Hey, what's up guys, JP here. I uh, wanted to make this short little video because I wanted to show you this uh, neat little tool that Ideal Industries came out with. It's called the Ideal FT45, okay? Uh, FT standing for feed through and 45 standing for RJ45s, okay? And if you're in the uh, teledata industry, uh, you know what I'm talking about when I say an RJ45. RJ45 are these uh, modular uh, connectors that they, that they use, uh, you know, to make their category cable connection, okay? But besides that, uh, this tool right here has made it relatively impossible uh, to make a mistake, you know, uh, in getting your cables uh, crossed, okay? So stay tuned. I'm going to show you how this tool works. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can get this on the first shot. Okay. And uh, there we got our cables stripped. Let me get rid of this little. Okay, so when we, we see the cable stripped, we have... Um, what they call four pairs. We got an orange pair, a blue pair, a green pair, and a brown pair, okay? And there's two different standards when it comes to terminating um, category cabling, okay? You got what's called uh, the 568A and the 568B standard, okay? So you wanna make sure that uh, when you terminate the cable like this, that both ends are either A or both ends are either B. If you have A on one side and, and B on the other side, then uh, you're making what they call a crossover type cable and you know uh, your signals are not gonna be working properly. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you with this tool is here on the top, it's got some numbers. I'm not sure if you guys can, can see the numbers, but there's a one and then on this side there's an eight, okay? Well, there's eight cables, eight pieces of wire here, two pairs. Okay, so that's telling you that on this end of the of the mo of the module. Okay, let me open it up. On this end of the module, this will be pin number one, and then over here on this side, it will be pin number eight. Okay, and uh, when we go to terminate our, our, our cable, we want to make sure that we got the right colors on the right side. And they put a little handy guide right here. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Uh, but there's an A and a B there, and then there's the numbers of the cables downside, and G with the dots mean that's a, a green with, with the stripe. Uh, if it's just a G, that means that's a solid color, and, and, and so forth. Okay, so you got A standard on this side and B standard on, on the other side. So let's see if I can get it done. All right, start by separating all my cables okay and here's what they mean you know here's the green uh, with the stripe and then there's a, a solid green get the brown okay uh, get the orange separate it then the the blue cable okay and it doesn't matter what order you do them as long as you you uh, keep them as long as you separate them and put them in the right order on the inside and what you want to do is you want to try to make these as as flat as possible okay so we're going to start off with the uh, with the green and then the solid green Okay, so there's my striped green, solid green, and then I need, uh, it looks like it's the striped orange, okay, and then I need a solid blue, okay, and a striped blue, okay, after the striped blue, uh, we get our solid orange, and then the browns. Stri striped brown, and then solid brown. Okay, 
so get those nice paired up that way one two three four five six seven eight okay and what I like to do is once I got them like that I'll take my shears and just run a scissors right up on them like that and uh, here we go okay now we'll slide our wires you know running the shears keeps them nice and flat makes it easy for uh, putting them in okay and uh, there we go okay and uh, it looks like yep as always I put them in upside down so let me turn this around and flip my connector and there they are striped green uh, solid green orange oops not, not blue orange uh, solid blue striped blue orange solid orange uh, striped brown and brown okay once you got the cables in slide in give it a nice little good tug on it okay get your tool and insert it and here we go okay it crimps and cuts the connector and now made a, a perfectly uh, good crimp with the colors being in the right pins and uh, that's it pretty much it you know almost error free now if I would have uh, not turned it around and and inserted it and crimped it you know, I wouldn't have been able to uh, reverse it. I would have to cut it off and, and start over. But what this does, the feed-through does, it allows you to check each wire, see if you made a mistake, pull it back out, and, you know, do the correction, and then reinsert the, the modular connector and, uh, and then crimp it, okay? But besides that, guys, if you like this video, uh, hopefully it's helpful uh, to somebody out there, but this is the new ideal ft45 and uh, it's a neat little tool okay so if you like this video uh, appreciate you guys um, write down any comments down below uh, appreciate you give me a thumbs up um, if you wish to subscribe because i'm going to try to make some more videos in the future if you hit the little bell uh, every time I put a new video out, uh, it'll give you a notification that, uh, that I put a video out. But besides that, appreciate you guys watching. You guys stay safe out there and uh, take care.